West to Harmin Freon and welcome to another video. Do you know, my dear friends, that if you wrap dung in a very nice package, it will still be dung because it smells so bad? Well, I'm of course referring to the latest reveal, shall we say, and that's the fact that apparently Amazon has uh, John Howe involved in making of the Rings of Power. Uh, John Howe, of course, being the worldwide famous artist who illustrated many a Tolkien book and also worked as a concept artist for uh, Peter Jackson's films, both The Lord of the Rings and uh, The Hobbit. And his drawings and his concepts and his paintings have entered history as being the visual representation of Tolkien's world. However, I have never said, and uh, very few people have ever said about the Rings of Power, that it is going to look ugly. No, we're just saying that it's got nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings and with Tolkien, and that is absolutely disrespecting Tolkien's legacy. On the other hand, I know that in 2022 they have perfect technology for making visually good-looking films. But as I said, you wrap a dung in a nice package... The dung being the rings of power by Amazon. The nice package might be, of course, uh, the concept art by John Howe. Let it still be the dung. All right, let us dive into the article and then we will elaborate some more. The world of Lord of the Rings, the rings of power, isn't the Middle Earth you remember? They're exclusive. Well, that's exactly what I said. Who is ready to return to Middle Earth? I have never left. This September, we'll finally see Prime Video's long-awaited series set in Tolkien's epic fantasy world hit our screens, taking us to a whole new age in the expansive mythology, specifically The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, as it's officially titled, is set in the Second Age, thousands of, of years prior to the events of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogies around the forging of the many rings and the rise of Sauron is detailed in the Fellowship of the Rings prologue in many ways. It'll be a return to a screen universe that's beloved uh, the world over, but according to the Rings of Power concept artist John Howe, there are surprises in store. This isn't the Middle Earth you remember, Howe tells Empire in the summer preview issue. This is a world that's very vibrant. The elves are not hidden away in Mirkwood or Lingeren in Rivendell. Yeah, I know, they are sylvan and they are catching arrows midair. They are busy constructing kingdoms. The dwarven kingdom of Moria is not an abandoned mine and uh, the Grey Havens is not yet an abandoned city. I loved having the opportunity to explore that unseen history. And while most of the Middle Earth we've seen on screen has involved mountainous, muddy or marshy terrains, there's a key new location to be explored this time. We're finally sailing on the oceans of Middle Earth, teases how, promising a set of seafaring elves. They're daunting and enterprise enterprising, and they're almost colonizing the world. Uh, they were a lot of fun to imagine. It's, some, it's something neither Rule of the Links or, nor Hobbit movies were anywhere near. Set course for new adventures. Uh, this is uh, the preview. This is all it says. Uh, and uh, as I said, my friends, if you look at this image, it should be Numenor, right? I think. Nobody knows anything at this point, but I think this should be Numenor. It looks nice. It looks very, very beautiful. It looks fantasy. It looks as if as if these were really fantasy ruins. And visually, uh, I would say that it belongs in a fantasy film how or a TV show. However, we have always said that the movie or the TV show we will look good. But we know about the rest. Uh, we We know that uh, it's, it's really going to disrespect Tolkien. But for more elaboration, please do check out my channel. Do check out my previous videos. Do check out my comparisons of what we've seen from the Rings of Power with that which we already have and love, that is the Peter Jackson's trilogy. Look at my uh, videos about John Ronald Rule Tolkien, about his work, not only about his uh, fiction, but about his scholarly work, about his phil uh, philological academic work. And you will know for yourself, my friends, it will be proved to you that uh, this can be nothing but a, a very bad news for each and every 
uh, talking enthusiast and a decent and normal human being in the world. And that will be all. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with my uh, dung analogy or not. And thank you very much for watching. And Namariye.